Hey, this is Robert at Goozy Fabrication. Today I wanted to share with you one method of quickly joining together steel or aluminum. Now this goes by several different names, quick tack, hot tack, blast tack, whatever the name, it's the same method. There are two key things that you have to do in order to make this work. But once you get it dialed in, it works well. Okay, first up, first key is whether you're using a finger switch or a foot pedal. The trick is on off as quickly as possible. We don't ramp up or ramp down, it's just hit it, on off. That's the first key. You can kind of see how fast we're going, initiating the arc and letting off. And that's the result. Now the second key is you double the number of amperage that you're using on that given thickness of metal. Now we all know that the rule of thumb is one amp per thousandth thickness of material. Well, you just double it with this method. Now that was a butt joint. Now we're going to move over to a lap. See how it works out. Just boom. Boom. On off. On off. Once you have your machine set to the correct amperage, on off. Real simple. Get the correct angle on your tungsten and you're good to go. Now those pieces were butted together with no gap, so let's try it with a gap. Now here I have a uh, 16th rod. Really nice tack. Spin this thing around. Set the other end. Close to a 16th gap. Works well even with a gap. So this speeds up production so much. If you got a ton of parts you've got to get knocked out. Once you get this uh, dialed in. Get those pieces together. Man, then you can really take off. And there you go. Next up, aluminum. So we've got a couple of coupons of 3003-060 aluminum. Like I mentioned, hey, usually I run about 70 amps on this, but we're bumping up to 140. Keeping a really tight gap, that's really critical on the aluminum. Does not work well with a gap on aluminum. And just boom, on off, on off. There you see it's left a really nice little tack. Join those two pieces together. Now we can take off on whatever we're doing with that. We can get those parts assembled, then finish out the welds. So let's try the aluminum with a lap joint. And there you see. Now you want to keep in mind these are just fusion welds so uh, yeah, they don't have any fill or anything like that, so you can't expect them to be super strong. Hey, the last one up, let's try an outside corner joint. Yeah, we're just mocking those up by hand, holding them, then boom. 
and it's really not putting a lot of heat into the part get that second one hey we're good to go we can uh, run a run a bead down this whatever we're doing next you can mock stuff up get it tacked very quickly once you get it dialed in so just get some seat time and figure it out hey well I hope this video has helped somebody uh, it's all about learning and sharing and uh, passing stuff on thanks for supporting the channel hit that subscribe button hey and as always thanks for watching